It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and during this pandemic people still want to eat and if you want restaurant quality food at home now we can do it. This is the Grazing Shed Build Your Own Burger. I'm just going to grab the camera and whack it over here to show you. There it all is over there ready to, ready to cook. Uh, the Grazing Shed kindly contacted us and said would you like to get involved and and review the what are we going to call it well we'll call it the build your own burger and i was like yeah why not let's do it so without further ado let's cook this burger so we're just warming the pans up i think first of all i'm going to put a couple of slices of this lovely looking streaky bacon in the pan that should be warm enough now this shouldn't take a couple of minutes to get in there. Smells fantastic. Look at that quality, look at the thickness on that bacon. I just want to say at this stage, it's not a sponsored video. It's not being paid for by the grazing shed. They just asked me, would I want to try one of their build your own burgers? And I was like, yeah, this sounds good. So there we go. That's that's the food in the pan clean my hands a moment so while they're cooking i'm going to grab the burger bun get it cut open yeah so you might be asking the question well you could just go to Tesco, pick up some bacon, pick up a burger. But I think, I mean, let's have a look at this. This Rogers and Sons quality butchers from Carmarthen. The bacon and the burgers, they're, they're made, these six ounce burgers are made specifically for the grazing shed. It's their own recipe own herbs, own spices in there. Get this burger flip. And straight away, I mean I've been to the I've been to the grazing shed many many a time. You've seen some of the videos in there. Straight away the bacon is now beginning to smell like the bacon you would get in the grazing shed. So I'm looking for a little bit of room now, just to... Let's grab one of my... As we're at home, and as it doesn't matter so much, let's grab one of my kids' plates. And, of course, the bread is from a, a locally sourced bakery which is again a really cool thing so I've got four types of sauce that looks like ketchup to me I'm gonna put a bit of I'm gonna turn that bacon down a little bit I think it's going a bit wild I'm gonna get a couple of spoons on the go Right, we've got four spoons, so let's get the ketchup out straight away. I'll tell you what we'll do. Can I probably... Can I, where can I get to where I can show you? Maybe if I just do that. There you go, there you go. Right, I'm going to move everything out of the way here. This is all off the cuff. This is just us doing a bit of cooking in the kitchen, so let's get... Some of this lovely ketchup, get it on the roll there. Beautiful, beautiful. Stick that there. Maybe a tent to this burger a little bit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Bacon looks amazing. Look at that lovely crispy bacon. That's going to be ready 
in a moment. Right, we got some tomato. Now what's this then? Let's have get our nose into this. Smells like chutney. Get a bit of this chutney on the go. And the burger as well. There we go, job done. Next up, I'm going to whack it all in. Next up we've got this might be barbecue sauce. Struggling to smell it with the air. Uh... Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely barbecue sauce. I think there are some of it on my top lip now. So a little bit of barbecue sauce in there. Look at that. This is going to be one messy burger. And then last but not least. I think this is the Grazing Shed secret burger sauce here. Oh, it smells amazing! I nearly had a big chunk of that, but I don't think. They were kind enough to give it to me and the wife and the kids. I'm not sure if the kids will eat that, so... Right, what else can we do while this burger's cooking? Let's flip this bacon over one more time. Yeah, that bacon looks that bacon looks ready. Right, I'm going to turn the bacon off. Maybe get the back door open. Um, have I got any lettuce? Let's have a look. Found it at the back of the fridge. It's probably seen better days, but there we go. It's my own lettuce, it's not from the grazing chest. Ah, that looks okay, it's a, it's a little bit limp, but we'll stick that in there. Now then, now then, now then, do I now grab a slice of cheese? We've got Two, four, six, we've got eight slices, so I can take two of these slices of cheese. I'm wondering whether... Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, man, it's juicy and amazing. I'm wondering whether now to get the cheese on the top. I'm no kind of, I'm no like major kind of chef here guys, this is just me having a bit of fun in the kitchen, but this is exactly what the grazing shed will probably want you to do, is to, is just experiment and find the flavours that you want and enjoy it. Right, I reckon I'm ready now to get two slices of cheese on the top of this burger. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes! Um, I'm going to take the bacon out. Chuck the bacon on the burger, on the, not on the burger, on the bun, should I say. Question is, is this cheese gonna melt? I think it's a great idea, personally. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I'm not a massive fan of 
barbecue sauce but I put some on the whole idea with this is if you order a few of these and you get the pots pots of different sauces you can you can build this burger to to how you want it I reckon it's done I reckon it's done you know I'm gonna go for it. Right, let's get into this burger. Woo, it's a bit smoky in this kitchen. Everything's off. Here's the burger. Let's grab hold of this. Beautiful looking thing. Can I get it on there? Will it slide off? Nah, no, we'll have to do it off shot, never mind. And there we are. There you have it. Look at that juicy, juicy, juicy looking burger. And you know what? I'm no cook. I am no cook. But that looks all right, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. Sauce everywhere. It's probably gonna, what I might do is um, grab a spoon. And I think I put a bit too much sauce on, but that's just my over, over eagerness, I think. Mm. Yeah, this is the secret, Steve. <clears throat> wow. This is the reason why. Just, just trying the sauce. It's the reason why you go and have a burger in a proper restaurant because they know what they're doing. They know them four pots they've given me, mix it all up and it tastes blooming amazing. So just by tasting that, I'm just going to grab it now. Oh, look at all that sauce. Mmm. I've oversourced it. But, but, oh. I cooked it well as well. Look at that. A little bit. Oh. Mmm. I need some. Yeah. I need something to clean my mouth with. A little bit of lettuce there. There we go. Hmm. Oh. Oh, sort of the floor as well. Right. Don't do what I did and get too eager with the sauce. Oh. It's the type of thing though, yeah there's sauce everywhere. It's the type of thing you don't forget. Pickle. <clears throat> like a mayo sauce with tomato and then some barbecue sauce and it's made. It's all about the sauce. Mmm. So we've got the Stone Crow Virtual Pub tonight. And I've just lined my stomach nicely with this burger. So I was chatting with Dave, one of the guys at the Grazing Shed, and he was talking about the unique recipe that the butcher put together, or the Grazing Shed put together for the butcher to make for them. You know, they, they put their input in for this for this burger and the spices and the peppers you can taste it you can taste it in the meat and the meat is really good quality everything's locally sourced mm.
big and tasty. This is as close as you're going to get to a super tidy burger at home. Mm. From the grazing shed. Now the grazing shed, I've got people watching watching from all over the world. The grazing shed is a local Cardiff I'm trying to stop it dropping everywhere. The grazing shed is a local Cardiff burger chain and they make <clears throat> the most amazing burgers. Some of you who follow the channel you might have seen me review a few of their burgers from the shops and they I think they do a better job of making them than me. <laughs> I've oversourced it but this is still really good. Mm. I've missed this. I've really missed this. I've not had a really good burger in three months. It's been three months. I, I've done okay. I've done some Iceland Carolina Reaper burgers. I've done some little marrowbone burgers, but nothing like this. Nothing like this. Well. Oh. Amazing, absolutely, absolutely amazing. I've just got off the shower, I got wet hair. I'm gonna have to have another one after this, or at least wash my face. Oh. It's so good. Mm. There's a there's a type of burger in it that's just like I think it's why the Americans call them sliders. A big a big slider because they slide, they slide down like that and fall apart. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Really good. So. What's my final thoughts on a rating on this burger then? Well, I've made a bit of a mess. That's my own fault for putting too much sauce in. But I like that. I, I've just said it. I've not had a, a proper restaurant style burger forever. For like three months. If you're like me and you're missing you got to live in the Cardiff area, I suppose. But if you're like me and you're missing a really good restaurant-style burger at home, then check out this meal kit. And I, I imagine, I tell you, if you live anywhere around the world watching this video, I bet you by now, because these people are very clever, they're innovative people who, who run restaurants and stuff, I bet you if you look hard enough, you will find meal kits, cook, cook your burgers at home if you really want it, if you want to search for it on Facebook or, or, or Google. Check out the place that you used to, used to love going to before, before lockdown. If you're in Canada, America, rest of the UK, Poland, Germany and have a look. I bet you your local restaurant does a does a stay at home burger or build your own burger kit amazing i like that love it 
really pleased to have another uh, a really good burger at home. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.